Hi, I've been experimenting with this clipper rectifier module because I don't understand it too good. Um, and I, I kind of still don't, but um, have found a couple cool things. So it was an excuse to make a video. I've got a real simple patch here. Uh, one oscillator into a Q150 filter. And uh, I'm using this as an LFO. And I've got it going real slow. I'm taking the triangle out into a malt. Got my own reason for that. And then I'm feeding that into a mixer with a switch. So that if I want, I can just turn the switch on and you'll get vibrato like this. And I set it deep and slow, even though that's not very musical because it, it's easier to hear what happens when I bring this in. So if I take another output from the malt and I plug it into the clipper, I mean the rectifier, that's what I'm going to mess with today. Uh, I've got another input here into the mixer that's also switched. So I can take the positive output and then I can uh, show you the difference. So here's the plain triangle out, not changed. And here's the same thing through the positive output of the rectifier. Now at first I thought it was just going twice as fast and I thought that was the only difference, but it's not. Listen, here's the positive output, twice as fast. And it's going from the bass pitch up now the negative output twice as fast from the bass pitch down. So that got me thinking. Uh, this is another thing that I haven't messed a whole lot with the switch. And I was thinking, well, wait a minute, you know, I could plug in the positive output of the rectifier into one input of the switch and the negative output of the rectifier into the other input of the switch. And now, if I want to hear the positive output, I don't do anything. And if I want to hear the negative output, I just push the button, right? So here's the positive output. Whoops. Figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, oh, yeah, it helps to plug it in, right? <laughs> so that's positive. Negative. Now check this out. This is fun. I, I really like the Q106 as an LFO, especially with the aid. Uh, I had a patch the other day where I was using five different outputs uh, to go to different things. It's just very convenient. Uh, so here, I'm going to take an output, and I got this set to a pulse wave, and uh, let's switch it with it. So I'm the same oscillator that's putting vibrato on at that rate, it's switching between the outputs of the rectifier as a modulation source. So now listen to it. Slow it down a little. Again, here's the plain triangle wave. And here's the uh, both sides of the rectifier. Now here's what's cool. I'm now going to leave on both sides of the rectifier, but also turn on the regular triangle wave and listen to what it does. That's without it and with it. Isn't that cool? Oh boy, you know, there's other outputs on this thing. And I'm using a, a, a square wave, a pulse wave on my audio oscillator. So uh, let's take the sine wave out and let's plug it into the pulse width input, pulse width uh, modulation of the oscillator. So that's without pulse width modulation. That's with it. Isn't that cool? Hey, it's me. I'm back. Because uh, I forgot to show you one thing on this that's uh, really bizarre. Uh, I don't understand this at all. This switch, Q128, right? It, uh, it switches between whatever's coming into A and whatever's coming into B, and it sends whichever one out on one wire, according to this. So I figure that what's making the switch switch is, uh, I don't know what it is, 5 volts or something, right? And your pulse wave, I don't know, I guess that's going plus 5 volts, minus 5 volts or something? I, I don't know. I'm not an engineer. But I, I would figure, I was thinking that if you turn the volume down, of what was modulating this that it would simply stop working at some point and it does all the way down but 
I can't figure this out. It actually, there's a change of state about halfway. So check this out. Now watch what happens when I start turning down the output of what's modulating the switch. I don't get it. When it's all the way down, now it's... I don't, I don't really understand what's happening, but I just figured I'd show you on the video that with the uh, Q141 oscillator aid, even having a pulse wave modulating a switch on and off or from A to B, <laughs> that's something.